What's up guys? Today I got another uh, UFC video here. It's going to be on the UFC Fight Night card, Overeem versus Arlovsky. And this fight card goes down on Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Fox Sports 1 prelims and do my prediction slash picks. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first fight here we got Cabral against Madari. So let's go ahead and look up at, uh, look up their page real quick so you guys can get some info about them. Check this out really quick. So this is your uh, Cabral's page. So he's known for his good ground game. This guy has a uh, really good jiu-jitsu. Lots of submissions he has in his record. So you can see submission wins. He's a finisher with his with his uh, submissions. And his and the and uh, in his UFC career, he has two submission wins, both of them in round two. Also has a decision win. And let's see what else they got to say about that. Huh. Well, here here is his list of his recent fights. So, his last fight was against Johnny Case, which is a really good uh, lightweight fighter. He's a beast. He just uh, recently lost to Jake Matthews, but he's still a good fighter. And pretty much, Cabral here was able to take down Case a few times, but after that, he was just getting beat up on the feet. And it looks like he gasses kind of uh, easily, you know, from all those takedown attempts and whatnot. So, Case was just beating him up on the feet. Case had good wrestling, you know, good takedown defense to keep the fight on the feet and just beat him up and then his last fight he won was in 2014 late 2014 and that's where he got a second round submission against uh, I, don't, I don't even know the guy he fought so and also uh, his other fight before that he lost to Zach Cummings so it seems like this guy loses to uh, you know like higher level guys I think so also Zach Cummings, Zach Cummings here is a big uh, welterweight so he was at welterweight before and you know he lost that fight but yeah, it looks like this guy loses to, you know, high level type of guys. Uh, now Reza here, not super high level or anything like that. But this guy is an aggressive fighter. And both these uh, fighters are similar because, look at this guy's summary. Well, he's put mentally strong, always in great shape. So they're both similar because they both have good uh, grappling skills. So you can see this guy ha gets uh, submission finishes. Now this guy's last win was in 2013 because uh, this guy went to prison. I forgot I forgot what it was for. I think it was for something about stealing purses or something like that. I don't know. It was some crazy shit like that. But anyways, his last fight he lost against Norman Park, which I would say is a decent fighter. And you know he just he just happened to lose that fight. Um, but before that he had a, he had a win against Michael Johnson, who's a really good lightweight fighter you know he's like top 10 so he got a win over him and the other guy he has a win over I don't even know that guy but yeah pretty much this guy's a really good grappler guys his striking is not the best but neither is this guy Cabral doesn't have the best striking either so we look at the stats right here uh, Razor here just lands more per minute he is less accurate absorbs more damage supposedly has better striking defense and we look at the grappling stats 3.44, 3.21, very similar. Takedown accuracy, and it's only 7% difference, but Cabral has a slight advantage there. Takedown's defended. You see, Cabral has weaker takedown defense, and I think that's because he wants to be in the ground. So, you know, don't don't look too close at those numbers. You know, it's this guy's a grappler, so he wants you to go down with him. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Reza here, high high takedown defense, and Cabral here wants to take this fight to the ground and yeah I don't know if he's gonna be able to get it done against Razor here because you know Razor here has good take on the fans he's also a Swedish wrestler we look down here Swedish freestyle wrestling champion Swedish Greco-Roman wrestling champion so this guy you know has a good wrestling background Cabral is a good grappler he's, he is getting better with his takedowns you know he was able to take down Johnny Case which I think is also a, a decent wrestler not as good as Reza, but you know, decent. So his takedowns are getting better, but you know what? I just think Reza here can actually keep this fight on the feet, and I think he's also very aggressive. So I think this fight stays on the feet, and if Cabral doesn't have improved striking, I mean, both these guys are not really good strikers, but for me, I think Reza here just has the advantage because of the uh, aggressiveness, and I think he could stay off his back here, guys. I think he keeps it on the feet. I think he comes in with better striking than Cabral. I think maybe even Cabral might even gas later on too in the fight. 
And yeah, I'm pretty much picking Razor because of his aggressiveness and take down the fence. So I'm going with Razor, guys, and I think he gets this done uh, by way of decision. So that's going to be my pick, guys. So for the next uh, for the next fight here, I got Hine uh, versus Tuck. So I just like was googling uh, Hine like very recently, like probably like 10 minutes ago or something like that before I made the video. Anyways, it looks like he's out of the fight. So Tuck here is going to have some another opponent maybe, or maybe they might just cancel that fight. So you know what? For I was I was I was uh I was gonna break this fight down anyway because I already I found out before or uh, after I already like you know did research and already made my pick that you know he's gonna be out of the fight so you know I'm just gonna go ahead and just give you my pick anyway I was gonna go ahead and go with Tug guys uh, most people were gonna go with Hein um, I was gonna go with Tug because it looks like this guy's improving he has better striking now as we've seen in his last fight let's go ahead and just open up his page now I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna open up Heinz because well he's not gonna fight and I think Tug here might actually get an opponent maybe or maybe not. We'll see. Anyways, he was he was doing really good against a uh, striker, uh, Tae Hyun Bang. Uh, yeah, he was showcasing good striking, and he was able to get a, and he was able to get a first round finish. Also, this guy, if you guys look at his skills, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, uh, 2010 Abu Dhabi World Pro Jiu Jitsu champion. So this guy, really high level Jiu Jitsu. You know, he's really good on the ground. He's a finisher. Look at his percentages right here of his finishes. He only has nine wins, but as you can see, he's 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 a damn finisher here, guys. So I was gonna go with Tuck anyway. It sucks for Hine; he's not gonna be able to fight. But yeah, guys, let's see if Tuck gets another fight. I'm not gonna be able to do a prediction video on it because, well, I don't know if you guys want me to do a prediction video on it. I will just specifically for that fight. But yeah, guys, Tuck uh, Tuck here is gonna be my pick. So hopefully they get him another fight. Next, so we got Magnus against Mac Lellen. Um, Magnus here is coming off a really damn long layoff. I, I don't know, I don't know why he was you know laid off for so for so long. I think maybe he was hurt. I'm assuming. Um, you can see right here, this guy has not fought since 2014, late 2014. It's now 2016, so that's that's more than a year already, probably a year and a half, something like that. Uh, anyways, he he was on he's on three fight win streak though. And he's winning, gets submission wins. This guy is a well-rounded fighter. Prefers to, uh, you can see, go uh, go to the ground. He likes using takedowns. The guy he's fighting, poor takedown defense, as you guys see right there. But this guy, Gareth, got destroyed in his first fight against some guy I don't even know. Apparently, he got taken down 10 times, and he just pretty much got destroyed in that fight. And then his next fight, he wins against this guy named Bubba Bush, who I think is just a low level fighter who's like you know like a bum anyways uh he destroys him gets a late finish and look at all the strikes he landed and whatnot i think he just took him down and just beat him up on the ground and whatnot Bubba bush i guess had no take on the fence anyways uh i'm i'm not really uh i'm not really thinking that gareth here is gonna be able to get a win i think magnus here she, even though with a long layoff i think he's just a better fighter i mean we haven't seen him recently but He's fought way better competition. Gary here fighting a low-level fighter. Looks impressive, of course, fighting against a really low-level fighter. But I don't think he's going to be able to get this done, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with Magnus. I think he'd get, he could get this done with uh, either his takedowns, because apparently Gareth has really bad takedown defense, or maybe just maybe does some striking and uses his reach. So I'm going with Magnus, and I think he gets a decision win. Next fight, we got Kabilov Kabi against Chris Wade. Looked them up both. Uh, Chris Wade here does really good against low-level competition. Kabilov, he's fought high-level competition. He's fought Benson Henderson, uh, Adriano Martins, who's another good fighter. He lost against both of them. The Martins fight was close, and the Benson fight, he was winning till he got caught. So, yeah. Also, Kabilov is coming off a win against Norman Park. Chris Wade here has just been fighting low-level competition, guys. Uh, He's been fighting guys that I don't I don't even know, never heard of, and I checked out their records, and they're not that good. So I'm not too impressed here from uh, Chris Wade. He's a wrestler. Striking's not good. Kabilov here, good wrestling also, but he's a better striker, and he's just fought better competition. So for me, guys, I'm going with Kabilov, and I got him winning by decision. All right, guys, that's it for my picks. Uh, as always, check out my link below for DraftKings and join that. 
And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my uh, my video here on my picks, and I'll be making the main card picks soon. All right, catch you guys on the next video.